All right, here we go. This is going to be a review of Sideshow Collectibles Kerrigan Queen of Blades statue. Um, currently, there's no companion pieces for her. You can get the the one six scale Jim Rayner and the Tyka statue. The, or action figures those are but she's much bigger than them uh, what can I start by saying about her she's absolutely phenomenal the detail on the statue is possibly one of the better sideshows that come out in a while I have a couple things that I think are could have been done a little better with the statue I'll get into those a little later as of right now it's uh, just give you a quick 360 of her and then I'll take out the camera and do a little zoom in action but overall statue is phenomenal like I said the level of detail on the blizzard statues like Arthas, Deathwing um, the Diablo statue both the Diablo Diablo and Diablo Overthrown the Barbarian are amazing this one I mean her face the detail on it is phenomenal I'll, I'll zoom in on it and show you just some of the paint app stuff that I think are pretty cool. The wings were a little difficult to get in. I know people have complained about them. They are also a pain for me. They're not as brittle as you'd think. Like most of these, if you have other statues, you think if you do this, it's going to snap. Not the case. It's kind of like a rubbery plastic feel. Same goes for her hair. You can see. Here, I'll turn it around and show you. Her hair is the same way. And it will, won't break. But, yeah. She's an awesome character. One of my favorite characters in all video games. I, I would have to say, though, if they had this in the Ghost version, so before she turns into the Queen of Blades, when she's more of the, uh, the sniper... Character, I, I think that's absolutely my favorite character in the game, even though you only play as her for a little bit. Sorry, that's the sump pump kicking out. It's pouring outside. Um, but yeah, the, the detail, absolutely phenomenal. All right, now for my two gripes, then I'll I'll zoom in and show you some of the stuff with the, with the statue that I really like. Um, her color. Granted, the flesh tone and, like, reddish... I think she should be more of a purple in the games if you've played them or if you haven't. I mean, just do a Google search on it. Uh, you can watch videos or just see. She's normally like a purple hue. And some of the more realistic scenes, I guess you'd say, of the cinematic, she's, she is this color. But I, I don't think I'm alone when I think that the purple color is much better. Um, second gripe. I'll have to zoom in for you. Her ass, for lack of better words. Her, her, her butt cheeks, the bottom of them, you can see here. I actually returned one of them because I thought it was broken. That's, I mean, she's kind of scaly looking. Obviously, she's scaly. But, like, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. And then it's almost like it's cracked. I don't know if that was intended or not. Uh, since I've had two statues and it was on both of them, I'm going to say it was intended. Not a fan of it. Not a fan. All right. I'm going to do some close-ups. Yeah, these reviews will also be better in the future. I'm, I'm redoing my basement. My daughter took over my part of it, so I'm making custom cabinets for this back part. But yeah. Like I said, her face is just phenomenal. Let me see if I can get closer. If you see, like, look at that. Look at the paint, like the veins on her face from where the where her hair is going in. All right, Let's show you some close-ups. I mean, yeah, her her blades are gonna be in the way, but uh, yeah, the hair, like I said, it's it moves. Also, when the statue comes, it comes in four pieces. It's her, her two blade wings and then the base so all right so quick view of her face and I come down to the base the base is awesome 
Like I said, these you can't go wrong with these Blizzard pieces. They're absolutely phenomenal. The amount of detail on them, because Blizzard has attention to detail, and Sideshow has to live up to that, or they will not commission them. Sorry, that was kind of not centered for a second. I mean, even her feet, I, I mean, it's just... I, I can't say enough about the statue. All right, now to the butt. A lot of people, are, like my mm -hmm. wife, I know is not a huge fan of it. The the butts on these statues, but I'm trying to see, see that. Wish I could show you some better lighting, but but yeah. I just think that's a little odd. All in all, though, I give this statue it's easily. Easily an eight and a half, maybe a nine. I bought two of them back, well, one, and then I got the second one back in December. They're twenty five percent off on the Blizzard store. They don't, they're they're long sold out now. You're gonna find them on eBay for five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. But she's a she's she's a statue of mine. I will not be selling. Yeah, phenomenal. I plan on doing some reviews. I have a gaming head statue, Gordon Freeman, I'm going to do. I will be doing the Deathwing statue soon. Thing's absolutely massive. Then I got some more new pieces coming in. I got a gaming head Laura Croft coming, uh, Talia Vos Normandy coming in. And when I get those, I will be doing reviews of my. I'm going to try and do at least one or two a week until I get caught up. Even some of my older stuff, I have some older premium formats, but I have 20 to 30 statues in total, and would like to get them on here. Any comments, good or bad, please let me know in the section below. Hit the like button or subscribe, as I, like I said, I will be doing one or two of these a week for the foreseeable future. All right, thank you for watching.